Hello everyone, today we have a new declutter and someone very smartly, does that even make sense, I don't know, they suggested that I should go back through my MAC lipsticks because I did a video, I can't remember which one it was, but I did a tutorial and I used one of my MAC lipsticks, I was like, oh shit, that's so expired, I could smell it, I could taste it, um, and so someone was like, you know what, you should definitely go through them and just clear a few out, and I actually have a bunch of brand new ones too, which we can also go through and, you know, put into my collection, but first of course I'm just going to, you know, go through these and just see where we're at, so I have done a complete MAC declutter in the past because I used to have like you know a whole side or so of MAC lipsticks I will link that down below for you basically yeah we're gonna go through them there are some that are definitely expired some of them are newer than others so I'm just gonna open each one and what I'm gonna be looking for is the scent the texture like visually can I see if it's like separating or anything like that um and yeah like some of these are very 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 old you guys like years and years and years old like far older than I would like to admit whereas some of them are only a year or two old so I'm just gonna go through and see how we go Sorry, the lighting's a little bit dodgy. It's actually the afternoon right now while I'm filming. Um, but yeah, I might like zoom in just a little bit so you can kind of see. I might do some swatches. I've got my makeup towel right here so I can wipe off. But yeah, then after we've done this, we are going to go into my lip gloss drawer and do a similar process. There's a bunch of my liquid lipsticks and things that um, have definitely been discontinued or are very, very old. So we'll go through a few of them as well. And then my next declutter, guys, we are going to go through all of the stuff up on my cabinets. You guys have requested it. I've got all these old lipsticks that are just sitting there for decoration, but you guys are like, no, declutter them. And I'm like, okay. Um, I think they look cute, but they are messy. So we'll go through those two together. There's some like ancient stuff like Lime Crime lipsticks. Like when was the last time I ever wore one of them? Let's be real. So let's just um, begin. These ones are all like newer, so I'm just going to pop them off to the side. Alright, so I've kind of got them in nudes to pinks to orange and corals, hotter pinks, purples and reds and berries. So, let's start. We've got the shade Given. I might do some swatches for you guys. Like, that's stunning. And that still smells like a perfect MAC lipstick. I love that colour. That is so pretty. Oh my god, I'm not even showing you. Okay, lucky I noticed early. So that's Given there. It's a creamy pinky like a neutral kind of pink it's so nice I like to leave them up a little bit I got these little lids I can try to remember to link them below for you guys so it just makes I need to wipe this one down just makes it so you can like see each color if you like me and you've got a whole lot it's quite handy that color is to die for I'm excited to use that I'm gonna start stacking them back here you'll be able to see them in a moment and I'll just like reorganize them next up we have the shade My Tweety. This is a powder kiss, so this one's definitely not too old. How old would this be? Like a year or so. So that one can stay. I'll swatch it if you are curious as well. There'll be more fast forward sounds near the end of this video, guys. Or I might like... Let's just see how we go. Alright, here we go. Creme de Nude. This one, I think, was a back to Mac. I can tell already that it's going to be ancient. Yep, yeah, smells like straight plastic. I'm going to keep the lid. And I can replace that. Alright, we have Meth. This one I think was one I wore and yeah, it smells like straight plastic as well. Like the scent is just a dead giveaway. It stinks. I might like come over here. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my gosh, that's so much comfy. Okay. I'm sitting in a neutral position before I was like sitting like sideways to my desk. We have Plain Koi, which was one of my favorite lips. Look, that's actually so impressive. Like since when do I ever use lipsticks that much? That one applies quite separated. It just smells fine. Was it just the top layer? Yeah, the second swatch applies a little bit better. You know what? Since it still smells okay, I'm going to trust that and I'm going to keep that for a little bit longer. But I dare say it won't last <laughs> much longer. That's probably one of my oldest MAC lipsticks, which is quite interesting because, yeah, it still smells perfectly fine. Um, a lot of my makeup does last really well because I do store it so well and I store it out of direct sunlight and I have it locked away and everything. It could be that, you know, I've had these in handbags and things like that, or sorry, the ones I'm getting rid of in handbags and stuff like that, so sometimes they don't last as well. Alright, let's continue. We have cis here. Oh my god, I used to always be like, what like, what does cis mean? But now I'm like, is it cis? Like, sister? I don't know. It's a nice, like, deeper kind of nude colour. Honestly, though, like, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't really love that color and I feel like I have other ones similar from other brands that I would reach for over that. We have Hug Me, which is a darker brown, which is like melted. <laughs> Poor thing. Hug Me is like a creamier finish. I actually quite like that. Do I keep them? Yeah, we can stay for now. Okay. 
hug me. Pretty cat hug me. I'm gonna put that one aside for a friend because that's definitely still usable, but I have used it so I can't donate that one. I have a bunch of matte lipsticks I'm going to donate because I'm just so lucky I get sent so many. Um, next up we have Impulsive. I love this color, you guys. I don't think I already get that, no. So Impulsive is one of my favorites and it just looks good on everyone that I've told to wear it. My friends have borrowed this one off me too. It's such a nice like powdery matte finish and just kind of similar to Sis but more wearable because it's got a little bit more like warmth to it or something like that. Hopefully you can kind of see what I mean. If you're interested in any of these colors and like I'm not really showing them well enough just Google them. There's heaps of swatches on Google. Next we've got a metallic in Loves a Gamble. Mm, not my cup of tea. It's actually so pretty. I would love that in a lip gloss. Um, it's like pink with gold reflect, but yeah, not really my, not my vibe. I do have the actual MAC lids, by the way. Um, so I'm putting like the caps just aside so I can reuse them, whoops, on the ones that I keep that are new. But um, I've kept all of the original MAC lips, little lids. Why did I say lips? We have a Riot House, which was the um, Kelly Osbourne collection. So unavailable and I actually really like that colour so I'm going to keep that for a while longer. I want to get some more use out of it. Um, I feel like we're kind of going through the nudes. Modesty. Smells good. It's like a creamy finish, like a purpley kind of vibe. It's actually quite nice. Maybe, mm, yeah we'll keep it for a bit. Definitely need to go through some of these. Like some of these are so similar. We've got Photo here which is like a deep brown. Love it actually. I'm going to keep it. See, this is what happens. I have the intention on getting rid of a lot, but I actually end up falling in love with more colours. I need to do this more often when I actually want to, like, um, do tutorials and things so that I can actually use some new colours. This is called Kinda Sexy and I love it. My friend wears this and it looks so, so freaking hot on her, so I need to give it a go. Yield to Love Cream Sheen. That's, like, brand new. I'm just going to give that to a friend. It's like a berry pink. I'm just going to start getting a little bit more cut through here now, guys, because otherwise we're not going to get anywhere. Only You. This was a limited edition. Not really my vibe. It looks like a glossy kind of finish. Ellie Golding collection. My god, I died when I got this. I got this when I lived in Auckland, so what was that, like 2014? So this is like quite old. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Kind of has those vibes of like Meiraki by Exo Beauty, except it's more like deeper I would say so I probably don't really need it anymore and that's surely expired. Yeah it's it's still got a little bit of the scent left but you can definitely smell it kind of <laughs> turning. Got more metallics. Don't even know why I kept like that's brand new so I can actually donate that one. I don't know who I thought I was keeping it. Honey Love. Did I keep Honey Love already? Was that one of the ones I decoded? Like look I can't even remember. So Honey Love, that's actually so pretty. That's a matte and it's like the perfect neutral kind of nude, but it's not too light. It's like a nice medium kind of nude. It would be really nice on medium and darker skin tones. We've got Mullet Over Powder Kiss Lipstick. I did do a lip swatch video, the lip swatch video with these. Look how nice that is. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. It's like a warm peachy undertone nude. Big fan, big fan. Good health. This packaging so random. I wonder what collection that was. It's like a creamy finish. That's actually very similar to Mullet Over, so I'll give that one to a friend. Sweet and Sour. Oh my god, throwback. I used to love this. That can go in the bin. It is destroyed. And it smells like plastic. I used to love that colour. We have the Pink Print, which is a limited edition. I'm not sure what limited edition this was, but it is a really light pink colour. I actually might give that to a friend as well because I feel like it's quite similar to the first colour given, was it? It's just a little bit less peachy. So that's given and then that's the limited edition one. Beautiful shade, but I mean, I don't want to end up still keeping 50 lipsticks. Um, okay, I'm trying to get through all of these pink shades. We have here Sultriness. Really pretty, but I might give that to a friend. That's a powder kiss. Love those. Then we have Scattered Petals Powder Kiss which is like more peachy. That's really pretty too. Maybe I'll keep that one. One of my ones that I got in Japan. Stunning shade. I might give it to a friend though. And another one, I don't know what they're called because it's in Japanese. That one's like a uh, purpler color. Why was it gonna say peria color? I don't know. Might keep that, it's quite unique. We have Snob Throwback. Snob's just like a cool tone pink. It's very similar to the limited edition one from the Cherry Blossom Collection except a bit more like light and muted and that is so expired it stinks. Oh my god, okay. Um, we have Viva Glam Gaga guys. If this was actually like 
you know, usable, that would be worth a fortune. Tell me why that was so famous. I mean, if you guys were around on YouTube in like 2013 or whenever this came out, like you saw how nuts the whole internet went for this. That is a throwback color and it stinks. So we'll get rid of it. It's not even like a pretty color. I don't understand how that color was ever in fashion. It's just like Saint Germain as well. Like how did I wear Saint Germain all the time? Like how was that a thing? I don't know. Next we have Sweet Experience. It's like a almost like Saint Germain kind of vibe. Do I keep it just because it's funny? I don't know. I might keep it for now just because it's different. We've got Hoop. Okay, I'm just going to start eyeballing a few of these because they're colours I don't really reach for a lot. I'm going to give that to a friend. Hopefully it's not expired. I did not smell it. I'm going to go with all these pink tones. So we've got Girl About Town. Oh my god, the Roback. If it smells good, I'll keep it. Yeah, that's all good. I actually love that colour. It's really nice for fall. We have Pink Novu, which is another one that's similar to Saint Germain. It's kind of similar to Girl About Town as well. I kind of love it. I'm going to keep it. Then we have Happy Go Lucky, which I'll give to a friend. Um, and then Candy Yum Yum. Oh my god, the Roebag. Is that expired? Like, surely. No, it smelled good. All right. Keep it for the memories. Okay, I'm going to go quickly through the rest of these. Um, and then if there's any notable ones or, like, ones with cool stories, I will, uh... You know, stop and let you guys know, but enjoy the fast forward sounds. Okay, straight away, I'm orange. Guys, this color is iconic. One of my favorite colors in the whole world. And it's still all good. That one looks fairly new. I definitely have used like one up more than that in the past. So I must have gotten rid of one in the past or, I don't know, lost it. But that color is iconic and it's so stunning on so many different people. I love it. So I've just decided to get rid of most of the limited edition ones out of the reds because I've got so many reds. I'm just going to keep a couple because I don't honestly wear red all that often like you guys know. And I do have my favorite with XO Beauty anyway. So I'm just kind of keeping ones that don't look like, um, you know, Limerins or Dolce Vita from XO Beauty. That one's really nice. That's more of like a wearable red. That one is called a Blaze. Alright, so we are left with those ones that you can see right here. Um, I'll reorganize them shortly, but um, let's go through all of these other lipsticks. So I have heaps here that I got in power a while ago. I've only used a couple of them. I won't be swatching them all because obviously if they're brand new, I'm going to donate them because they're all pretty new. These are the Love Me lipsticks. So we have Under the Covers. This one I have already swatched. And it's so pretty. It's like a creamy pinky nude so I'm going to go ahead pop the lids on I'm going to put these lids of the ones I'm keeping aside because when I recap all those other ones I'll put those back away I like to keep them so that um you know to recycle them or whatever I'm doing all right and DGAF nice dark brown I've already kept a nice dark brown we have daddy's girl which Oh, that color is so nice, but do I already have heaps like that? That one's more pinky. I might put that in the maybes, so I'm just going to set that like that. 
Then we have As If I Care. That one's like a deeper kind of pinky nude, which I can pass on that one no problem. Wait, put that there. Um, I've got French Silk. Oh my god, that colour's nice. Hold on, I'm going to zoom you in a bit. So French Silk. I'm going to swatch it. Yeah, that's so pretty. I'm going to keep that one. Next up we have Vanity Bonfire, which is like a hot pink kind of tone. Um, I don't think I need that one. And then I have Tre Blase, or Tre, Tre Blase, I don't know. Maybe I like that one more than that one. Yeah, so that's a maybe. Oh my god, I keep going to put them behind me. Then I have Coffee and Sigs, <laughs> which is like a really neutral dark brown. I actually love the name of that. That's like hilarious to me. Okay, then we've got like the pinker ones. So we have Monco, I don't know. Nah. Uh, Let Them Eat Cake, which is a bright lilac. I don't think I'll really get much use out of that. We have Pure Nonchalance, is that how you say it? Which is a light lilac muted shade. Yeah, not really my vibe, guys. Killing Me Softly. Muted Violet again, and then can't pronounce that at all. Lysez Fear. Don't know, but it's a really nice nude color. I don't think I need it though. And then the last one here is it called Hey Frenchie, and that's a really nice mauve tone. But yeah, I can happily donate that. Let's look at these ones the reds. So we've got You're So Vain, which is like a really nice muted pinky red. I actually love the look of that, but. I've already kept a few like that. Shamelessly Vain, which is a bright orange based red. I love that look. That, wait, I love that look. Well, I do love that look, but you know what I mean. We have Jouy de Vivre. <laughs> These are like all French and I cannot pronounce French for the, like, the life of me. So please excuse that. E for Effortless. Dark Bold Red. Pass on that. Give Me Fever. Bright red, reminds me of like Ruby Lou. Um, and then we have Nine Lives. It's a really pretty berry based red. And then the last one here is My Little Secret, which is a corally kind of based red. So I'm happy to donate them. I think those will go to look good for her. And there's another one hiding. This one is called Mason Rouge, which is a deep red brownie kind of vibe. Let's see how many I've got so far. unsure on this guy okay I've also got some more of my um, powder kiss this one's custom I got this done in Tokyo what's it called sultriness I think I've kept it was it there no that's impulsive all right well cool I'm gonna keep that and then another custom one this one is impulsive which is the color right here so I'll give this one wait this one right here so I'll give that to my friend and I'll pick the customized one the lid back on that one for her stay curious it's so pretty but I'll donate that Marrakesh which is a dark deep like terracotta kind of vibe keeping that it looks pretty I think I used that in a recent video actually like just the other day and then I have a reverence which is like a pale dusty like pinky nude so I think I'll keep that too which gives the perfect spot for this one Ta-da! I'm gonna get rid of these ones. Have I ever used this? No, that looks brand new. Just because the packaging's different, so hey, let's just uh, give those away as well. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly speed up me putting these all in order. I'm just gonna go like nude to darker colors. Will they fit anywhere? I really wanna put them out with the other lipsticks, but I don't know if they'll all fit.
Um, Loki, that looks fine, right? Like, there's not really any, well, there's not, there's one hole left in this whole drawer. And only a couple over here, but by the time I clear out my handbags, I'll probably be, like, completely full. But hey, I've still got another tray, but I'm like, I can put other stuff, I don't know. It's, it's good. Okay, let's move on to the glosses. Okay, so, um, this is all of my glosses and liquid lipsticks. I don't have a lot, as you guys probably saw in their last... Um, declutter of this drawer obviously like I just don't use matte liquid lipsticks a lot anymore most of the time I use my own so it's just the odd one from other brands and a lot of these are very very old so for example like these lip lands like I used one of these in a video it was like old makeup or something like that like stuff I've been using forever and the colors are so stunning but like literally I couldn't find them anywhere online. I feel like the whole brand just disappeared. Do any of you guys know where it went? Like, I don't know. Oh, you come over here. Come say hi. Louise next to me. Look, I've like scrubbed off my feet tan off my hand now. Love that for me. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all of my lip lands. Hello. Are you showing everyone your long legs? <laughs> Go away. You can smell all of my lip gloss, can't you? Alright, what else do we have in here? I've got my Jeffree Star mirror doll. Goodbye. Okay, what else? Like, I just want to look in here right now and just like have a look and be like, okay, what can I see in here that is ancient? Probably some of these BH Cosmetics ones, which I think I might repurchase some, but these ones, I did a lip swatch video years and years ago must have been five or six years ago maybe even I don't even know maybe it wasn't that long ago I don't know but they need to go because yeah they're definitely quite old but I love them they're some of the best liquid lipsticks for an affordable price point I'm gonna get rid of my Australis I'm just gonna do this and fast forward just get rid of some stuff that's old basically and uh, I'll get back to you soon Oh my gosh, guys, this is so old. Go for girly. Do you guys remember how obsessed I was with this? I used to wear it all the time. Oh my god. I used to love colours like this. Like, I still do, but I usually pair them up with, like, a nude kind of, um, lip pencil. Did I just wipe that? Oh my god. I just wiped that on my trip pants from Habit. Alright, so I think I have gotten rid of heaps of stuff that I'm probably still going to find it as we go, but a lot of stuff that's quite always old, old or expired or whatever. Um, so now I need to reorganize it. Heaps of this stuff's like newer stuff that's just been like tossed down, but I'm going to move it over this side so you'll be able to see soon. Um, like, I would never wear that. What the heck? And some of it's like brand new as well so um, I'm donating the new stuff and anything I know I've used I'm passing along to a friend okay so how am I going to start this I think I'm just going to start with like the shorter stuff go into the longer stuff as we go so here I have a bunch of my MAC liquid lipsticks which I reckon next time I do a declutter I might go further into depth with them too but for now I'm just going to keep those are really cool unique colors um so they've survived for now i'm gonna line up heaps of my ofra lip glosses which i love so i've also got some of the mini like beauty lip glosses and anastasia beverly hills glosses they're kind of like you know limited edition or whatever I've got my Laura Lee Los Angeles. I'll just pop them there for now. Um, look at this stuff. Oh, 
there's another one of these. It's the same colour. <laughs> Some more various glosses. I'm just kind of putting some of these lip glosses in randomly because I've got all sorts of different brands and shades. Like the packaging's all different. <laughs> so I'm just smacking them in. Um, this will be expired. This is Naughty by Colourpop. So that's Binning. To be honest, like all of these Anastasia Beverly Hills are going to be very old. Um, they did actually resend me heaps of shades by them to my beach house and I used them out there. So I think these ones I'll get rid of. I love them to bits though. Like I definitely repurchased them. I'm just going to get rid of these colour pot ones that are older. Most of those are like limited edition too. Some of these are going to be ancient. I love this colour even though it was limited edition. It is ironic. The Kylie one I love it. Like love it. I hope that she brings it back out one day otherwise I'm going to make my own version of a khaki because I love it so much. Then we have heaps of Huda Beauty. Just over here. I'm just going to mix them up all pretty new. I also have a few more here. Bombshell. Do I have bombshell? I'm gonna donate some of the minis. I actually get rid of some rather than add in. I've got my uh, Christian Dominique Cosmetics liquid lipsticks which are really lovely too. And then I have my House Labs lip glosses which I might just keep enchant or in entranced. It's kind of like shimmery, which I like. And then I have my Ofra nudes, which are so stunning. So, oh, the fierce. I'm just like literally shoving them in at this point. Well, that was a big cut down, guys. So, that's that. The only thing I've left to do now is just to add the caps back on at the lipsticks. Alright, so these ones here are the rubbished ones. And then all of those other ones are for friends. So I'm just going to go through and package them up. I've got all of my lids look in this giant makeup bag thing. So I'll do this in fast forward. Should be quite satisfying hopefully.
all done. So yeah, those ones are to get rid of. They're off, expired, and look at all these. Hold on one second. All of that is friends, or friends of friends, people that don't care about germs and aren't gonna try to sue me or something. Although, I mean, it's not like I've got anything wrong with me. Just a few of the items, this is a terrible angle. Just a few of the items that will be going to look good, feel better. We just did a big drop off to them, send off. Um, so yeah, I've got heaps of stuff I still wanna send them. And I've got heaps of like eyeshadows and all sorts of stuff, stuff from previous declutters and things. So need to do that ASAP. Yeah, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys loved the video and um, found it calming. I have heaps more deck letters. I will list the playlist down below. There's so many of them and they're really cool to watch. So if you want to watch some more, feel free and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!